Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel on this lovely bank holiday weekend. Um, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a hobby update really, uh, in terms of where things are in my hobby world, uh, plans, projects, things I'm thinking about for the future and a taste of maybe some videos that I've got coming your way uh, in the coming weeks and months. So first of all, um, I just wanted to let you know of a couple of videos I've got planned um, in the near future. Uh, one will actually be courtesy of my son, who's just come back from a very interesting holiday traveling around Asia. And in part of that, he visited Vietnam and uh, went to the DMZ or DMZ and uh, took a tour around various parts including Khe San uh, and some other areas of Vietnam linked to the Vietnam War. Um, so a couple of things that uh, he brought back were like a map of the trail which is very interesting. I'll put a put a picture of this on the video and he brought me back some memorabilia that he bought actually at Khe San. So we've got um, this here is actually a victory medal Hopefully you can see that. Again, I'll, I'll pop pictures on the screen. Um, we've got a medal here linked to the Tet Offensive, um, which was in 1968, uh, and an AK uh, round, spent round as well. Um, but he has taken some video and photographs, and I hope to pull together a, a video to share with you some of that historical uh, landmark uh, in, in due course. Personally I've just returned from a very short holiday to the lovely island of Rhodes in Greece. Uh, you would have seen my video where we spent the day at St Paul's Bay or Navarone Bay, uh, scene of the Guns of Navarone where that was filmed, a beautiful place. Uh, Rhodes itself was a gorgeous island um, and part of that I did get to visit uh, Old Roads Town uh, and take in some of the uh, sites of the, the fortifications and the battlements there including uh, St Angelo uh, Fortress um, at the end of the, uh, the harbour wall there, uh, the site of uh, a very very big battle, uh, the Siege of Rhodes, uh, the Knights of St John against the Ottoman Empire. Um, so uh, that was a really interesting trip. Um, as always, always looking for uh, things that I can purchase or use with the hobby. Um, you may remember quite a few videos ago I mentioned uh, an ongoing project in the background, um, sort of some palette cleansers really, uh, from the Osprey game of Gods and Mortals. I've been building up uh, very, very slowly, discreetly, uh, a couple of forces to play that game. It's a skirmish game. Um, but what I like about it, it's set in that kind of mythology universe. So we've got Greek mythology, we've got Norse, uh, Egyptian, all sorts of uh, elements. And you're dealing with gods, champions, legends, uh, mortals, things like that. And, and so that's given me um, opportunity sometimes to just paint some ad hoc figures that just, just to enjoy uh, painting. So you'll remember I painted some skeletons. Um, I've already got quite a large 28 mil Viking army anyway, which I originally started building up for Saga. Uh, but that's that's grown arms and legs over recent years. I've got things like a Minotaur uh, and some other bits and pieces. On the on the workbench here, I've currently got a Hercules figure, um, some other Greek heroes as well. But these two beautiful models um, or ornaments that I bought in Rhodes. So this I'm going to use as my god Hades. Um, you'll see there he's with uh, Cerebus, which was the three-headed uh, dog. Um, Hades was god of the underworld. Um, so my skeleton, some of my undead forces, will be accompanying him into the old gods and mortals universe. And I've bought some more Reaper bones, blisters, uh, purchased a couple of harpies and also uh, Sharon the, the boatman who was one of uh, Hades 
sort of key um, champions uh, of, of mythology. Likewise for his opponents, I've purchased another one, uh, Ares, uh, the god of war, I believe. Um, not particularly liked in Greek mythology by his peers, um, but uh, a warrior of note. Uh, I've already got some 28 mil Greek uh, hoplites, um, which will, will fit perfectly in with this, uh, along with a couple of other Greek sort of legend type figures. So we're moving closer to having that ready to go. Uh, my Norse uh, force, other than, other than perhaps the guard, is pretty much ready to go. Um, there were some uh, Norse ones there. I, I made the mistake of not buying one I should have done um, because I do like the size and the scale of these models compared with, um, for example, that's a god and that's a legend and the mortals will be slightly smaller because these are uh, hero scale 32 mil. Um, so obviously with 28, you then get that nice scale difference between the gods, the legends and the, and the mortals. Um, so that's a little bit on a on a sort of sideshow from my holiday, really. Um, but interesting all the same, something I'm looking forward to to building on as, a, as I go along. Um, other things that are ongoing are my uh, What a Cowboy project. Uh, so you saw my cowboys. I'm hoping to start putting together some of Great Escape Games gunfighters in due course um, to build up some uh, sort of sheriff uh, and, and good gunfighter posses, if that's the right word, uh, to fight against my Mexican bandits and my bank robbers. Um, again, just a bit of a palette cleanser, something different to paint, so I'm quite looking forward to doing those. Uh, I want to start my Italian Wars project, um, so they're my Pendraken 10 mil Spanish, uh, which I've bought um, sufficient to play uh, in uh, never mind the bill hooks, but also um, I've got a, as I said before a couple of other Italian Wars base rules which I probably will want to use uh, these figures for. Um, I'm hoping to also start my six mil Austrian and Portuguese stroke Spanish Napoleonic armies uh, in due course, um, particularly as I have a, a plan, uh, a planned trip uh, in a few weeks time for a few days down to lovely sunny Spain to see the Salamanca battlefield. So I'm looking forward to that immensely and hope to bring you a video on that in, in due course as well. Um, and of course, my other ongoing projects, my Hastings homebrew, uh, you are aware now that I've painted all the troops. Um, I'm now designing the field in terms of what that's going to look like and my rule set. And so I hope to bring you a final video sort of pulling that all together just to show you that in, in due course. Um, and additionally, uh, Nimitz, uh, I still haven't got that to the table yet. Um, I've got some lovely ships, uh, a few blisters uh, to top up certain areas of those. So I'd like to get that on the table in due course and report back on a game of that. And finally, uh, Bonaparte's Eastern Empire, the game I shared with you, the prototype game uh, from Form Square Games. I uh, had our first run out of that uh, at the club last Friday. Really interesting game. Fascinating mechanics. Very, very different to anything I've played before. Um, we didn't finish the game, but we played through quite a few turns. Not many questions. It's a very well written uh, set of rules that go with the game. Uh, we had a, an interesting outcome where the French were pretty much steamrolling across the Egyptian peninsula and uh, just defeated um, a Mameluk army. Uh, but unfortunately, when we did the uh, leader risk rolls, Napoleon uh, bought it uh, in the battle and uh, was killed. And as a result, one of the key French players in the game uh, was knocked out, uh, both in terms of victory points and uh, utilising his glory, which I'll explain more about in my next uh, video on the game. 
um, but we had a great time, a blast with it really, looking forward to giving it another run out in a few weeks time. Uh, I want to play it another one or two times before I do my review video, uh, just so that I can share with you my real thoughts around the game, but certainly what I've seen so far, all very positive and looking very, very exciting game uh, with, with more to come in the series. Um, that's just a quick update for now, for this week. Hope to bring you uh, some more videos very, very soon. Enjoy your gaming. Hoping you're getting some time to do that over the weekend and see you all again soon.